Right now is former U.S. Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker. Matt, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for being here. Good morning. Uh, you say this is an important policy tool that the administration will take away from the Department of Homeland Security. Tell us about the implications you see. Well, what happens at the border is the Border Patrol is under complete, uh, you know, assault by illegal border crossers, and they need everything in their power to do their jobs. And by taking away Title 42, which allowed them to turn around people at the border because of the COVID-19 situation, uh, that gave them a tool to, you know, again, continue to try to administrate and keep folks from illegally coming into our country. But, you know, this is probably one of the big last tools that Border Patrol had. And now you know, anyone uh, is getting into this country and it's going to, this, this news is going to cause people now uh, to come from all over the world. The, the expectation is we're going to have 15 to 18,000 people every day. Um, and, you know, by the end of the year, we could have uh, more people in our country illegally uh, just from this policy change than the whole city of Los Angeles has in population. So it's a massive uh, and fundamental policy change. Well, I mean, governors, certainly Republican governors, are outraged by this. Texas Governor Greg Abbott yesterday uh, took matters into his own hands. He said he's going to start uh, bussing the migrants to Washington, D.C., uh, and, and the White House claims that's a publicity stunt. Watch what happened yesterday at the White House. Watch. Now that the Texas governor is saying that he's going to start busing border crossers to Washington, D.C., when they get here, are you guys going to help them find a place to stay and something for them to do? Well, I'm not aware of what authority uh, the governor would be doing that under. I think it's pretty clear this is a publicity stunt. Enforcement of our country's immigration laws lies with the federal government, not a state. Your reaction, Matt? Well, the American people, uh, you know, it's an important issue. Uh, it polls is one of the top issues. And, you know, they want a solution. And if the federal government is not going to do its job, then the states are left to do everything they possibly can within their powers. And, yeah. you know, Jen Psaki is right, uh, you know, that this is a federal power. But if the federal government is not going to do it, uh, then it then someone has to, to help secure our border and, you know, make sure that these states like Texas don't bear the entire burden uh, of this poor yeah. policy and poor planning by the federal government. Matt, do you think this is a dereliction of duty? I, I was just a few minutes ago speaking with Congressman Greg Murphy, and we were going through some of the stories around Joe Biden. And whether it's uh, this wide open border, this climate change agenda, no matter what it takes, no matter 40 year inflation, or the money that his family has taken in uh, in terms of uh, the deals Hunter has done, uh, he said it's impeachable. Listen to Greg Murphy a moment ago. I want to get your take on this. Watch. I think there's going to be plenty of foot. There's plenty. If you look at Afghanistan, you look at the border crisis, you look at so many of these different things. The sad thing is, Maria, look at who's number two. Look at who's number two. I think number two is worse than number one. So this is the predicament, predicament that we're in. But these offenses that this president has done against this, the heart and soul of this country, against law and order, I think stands our grounds for impeachable offenses. So, so Matt, he's basically saying, yeah, he wants to impeach him, but we're afraid because number two is weak. Kamala Harris, your reaction? Well, uh, as we've talked many times, Maria, um, in the previous administration, you know, impeachment is, is a purely political tool uh, that can be used by Congress when the president or other executive branch members aren't doing their jobs or are violating the law. Uh, certainly, Congress has an important role in making sure the executive branch is doing their jobs and following the law. And in this case, especially in the border that we're talking about right now, uh, there is no doubt that the Biden administration is failing. Um, at enforcing the law and doing things that are, would make Americans' lives better. So, you know, I, I just, you know, I, the only thing I worry is just the politics of, you know, going into 22 and talking about impeachment when there are so many issues, inflation you point out, uh, and others that are affecting ordinary Americans' lives. And Congress, instead of yeah. wasting their times on these types of, of efforts, I, I just think would be better uh, situated to pass laws that make the situation for all Americans better, including closing the border uh, and only allowing legal uh, immigration 
uh, which is, you know, we're the most generous country in the world, and we've talked about that many times. Yeah. And so I just, I wish, you know, the, 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 these solutions are not difficult. It's just having the desire and the will to implement them. And the Biden administration has completely failed at the border. Yeah. Matt, it's great to get your insights on all of that. Thanks very much. Matt Whitaker joining us this great morning. We'll you, catch Matt. up thank soon. You. Matt, thank you.